In this video we are going to see how to synthesize orthochlorobenzoic acid from toluene as a raw material. Orthochlorobenzoic acid is used in the manufacture of dyes, colorants, pesticides and pharmaceuticals. In this synthesis we are going to use toluene as starting material. The synthesis consists of four steps, nitration, reduction, halogenation by the Sandmeyer reaction and finally oxidation of the methyl group of toluene. We are going to start nitrating toluene with nitric acid. I cannot show the details of the nitration in the video because YouTube senses me. After nitrating the toluene and washing it, several isomers have been obtained. These isomers have different melting points. The one I am interested in is orthonitrotoluene which has a melting point of 10 degrees below zero. The result of the nitration I put it in the freezer for 24 hours to crystallize the high melting point isomers. The ortho isomer is separated by filtration in liquid form, retaining the high melting point isomers in the form of crystals. The next operation is to reduce the nitro group to amine. To obtain toluene, we are going to reduce the nitro group with iron metal in a sodium chloride solution. The first step is to prepare a solution of 70 grams of sodium chloride in 220 milliliters of water. In a 1000 ml flask we put 40 grams of orthonitrotoluene and dilute it with 250 ml of methanol. Add the sodium chloride solution. With strong agitation add 100 grams of iron powder in portions of 10 grams with difference of 1 minute. While adding the iron vials, control the temperature to be above 40 degrees. Once all the vials have been added, heat for 7 hours at reflux. Allow to cool and filter through a Buchner funnel with filter paper. Wash the retained precipitate with 100 ml of methanol. Keep the precipitate moist. The iron is pyrophoric and can ignite spontaneously. The filtrate is put in a 1000 ml flask and a solution of 15 grams of sodium hydroxide diluted in 100 ml of water is added. Set up a simple distillation apparatus and slowly distill most of the methanol. Once it is observed that white colored oil distills, the distillation is stopped. To mount the steam distillation and to distill a volume of 250 milliliters. The distillate is saturated with sodium chloride. Extract the orthotolidin with 230 milliliters portions of ether. Prepare a hydrochloric acid solution by diluting 50 ml of water in 50 ml of 36% hydrochloric acid. Weigh the solution to know the amount of orthotoluidine hydrochloride that we are going to extract. The weight of the solution is 101 grams. We shake the ether solution twice with 50 ml of the hydrochloric acid solution. The total weight of the hydrochloride solution is 139 grams. 38 grams of orthotoluidine hydrochloride were obtained. The next step is to replace the amine group by a halogen with the Sandmeyer reaction. For the Sandmeyer reaction we will first prepare the copper chloride. In a 1000 ml beaker we dilute 111 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate, 250 ml of water. We add 28 grams of sodium chloride. In a 250 ml Erlenmeyer flask, we dilute 16 grams of sodium hydroxide in 140 milliliters of water and add 68 milliliters of 38% sodium hydrogen sulfite solution. Add the sodium hydrogen sulfite solution over the copper sulfate solution, stirring slowly. A precipitate of white color is formed, this is the copper chloride. We allow to decant, we eliminated the liquid of above and we washed with water the copper chloride.
We return to decant, eliminating the liquid with precaution of the copper chloride solution. We dilute the precipitate in a solution of 120 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid diluted in 30 milliliters of water. We put this solution in a 1000 milliliters flask and cool it with an ice bath. The obtained solution of orthotoluidine hydrochloride in the reduction is put into a 500 ml beaker and 20 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid is added. Add ice to the solution to cool the solution to a temperature between 0 and 5 degrees. In another beaker, prepare a solution of 25 grams of sodium nitrite in 70 ml of water and keep cold with an ice bath. When the nitrite solution is cool enough, Add over the orthotoluidine solution, the temperature should be kept between 0 and 5 degrees. The diazonium salt is formed with gas formation and orange color change. Keep the diazonium salt solution under stirring for 15 minutes. Cautiously add the diazonium salt solution on top of the well chilled copper chloride solution. A lot of gas and foam is produced. To leave in rest 24 hours. It is observed how gas is released and a thick oil floats. Set up a steam distillation equipment. Distill until no oil drops are observed in the condenser. About 200 milliliters have been distilled. Saturate the distillate with sodium chloride and extract the chlorotoluene twice with 30 milliliters of ether. Wash the ether solution three times with 40 milliliters of a 60 milliliters solution of hydrochloric acid diluted in 60 milliliters of water. This is done to remove unreacted toluidine. Wash the organic phase with 30 milliliters of saturated sodium hydrogen carbonate solution and dry with anhydrous magnesium sulfate. Eliminate the ether by distillation in a water bath. Weight of the product obtained, 25, 4 grams. In the following process we are going to oxidize the methyl group to carboxyl. For the oxidation we will use potassium permanganate. In a 1000 ml flask we put 50 grams of potassium permanganate and 500 ml of water. Add slowly and with agitation 15 grams of chlorotoluene. To heat slowly to reflux, increasing 25 degrees every 20 minutes. At the beginning of the heating process, a lot of foam is produced and can project the contents to the outside. Once it boils, it is maintained this way during 3 or 4 hours, until the purple color of the permanganate disappears. After this reflux time, a distillation apparatus is set up and a volume of 30 to 50 milliliters is distilled. This is done to remove the unreacted chlorotoluene. The distillate is discarded. Filter the still warm contents of the 1000 milliliters flask through a Buchner funnel with filter paper. Wash the solid twice with 70 milliliters of water. Evaporate the filtered liquid to a volume of 250 milliliters. Without cooling and slowly add 25 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid. A white and voluminous precipitate of orthochlorobenzoic acid is appreciated. Allow to stand for about 2 hours and collect the acid by suction. Wash the acid twice with 50 milliliters of cold water. After drying the acid in an oven at 60 degrees, 6 grams of orthochlorobenzoic acid have been obtained. To determine its purity we test the melting point. The theoretical melting point of the acid is 137 to 140 degrees and in my test I obtained the value of 134 to 160 degrees. The melting point shows that the product is impure. To purify the acid we recrystallize it in toluene. 
Dilute in boiling toluene, 6 grams of acid for each 50 milliliters of toluene. Allow to cool and discard the first crystallization. Collect the first crystallization and test the melting point. The first crystals have a very high melting point. The filtered toluene was evaporated to half its volume and allowed to cool. Crystals with a melting point of 138 degrees were obtained, a value very close to that of pure orthochlorobenzoic acid. The yield of this operation with respect to chlorotoluene was 35%.